to my house <laughs> and welcome to all of you. It's so fun to have you guys here. We're actually having tea. Gina brought over some yes. delicious tea um, from her uh, friend. From my friend Hannah. She, Hannah is in, oh goodness, Finland, right? Finland. Yeah. <laughs> It sounds, so. sounds right. <laughs> Hannah, you can correct us on the thread yeah. if we're wrong. But thank you very much, Hannah, for the lovely tea that you sent. We're having, it's strawberries and cream, it, or strawberries. Yeah, it's wild strawberry, and then we added some cream with vanilla into it. It's very so yummy. It's yum, yummy. Very delicious. But anyways, we're here to join you because we wanted to talk to you about the Sabrina Knit Along and the two Sabrina patterns that are coming out on October 1st today. So. Yay. We're really excited about them. It was a fun project that we, I don't know, I don't, it came up at one of our knit nights together and we just said, let's, yeah. let's try to, to do a, a set or yeah. coordinating patterns um, together and it was fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun and I th feel like it stretched both of us too. Like, it did. To it try did. and do some, a little bit different than what we might have yeah. normally done on our own, so. It was fun because you got to like, collaborate just about the inspiration a little bit together and um, I was inspired by some of the things that Gina had chosen and and vice versa. And, yeah, yeah, it was just really neat to see. It was it added a lot of um, creativity to the process yeah. and just a lot of fun. Yeah. So it was a lot more fun to design together than yeah, to it sit was. off on your own and do it. So And then Gina is so good at um, just lists and everything so she just kept us on track which was wonderful i felt very professional because i felt like i was working with in a, at a real job oh, was, <laughs> i so when i was a, at the publishing house as a managing editor i would sit a part of my main job was to set all the um, publishing schedules so okay. for everything along the process so my husband was laughing at me because when we were working on this design collaboration that's exactly what I did for Christina and I. Yeah. I just set up a whole publishing process and it kept us going. It did. So it really it did. Work. It kept us going. And yeah. um, it helped. It just helped stay on task. Even though, you know, these things, we, we, we do them all the time. It just... It was great because then we were both on the same yeah. page. Well, and I okay. really like to watch Project Runway, and whenever they have, that. whenever they have group projects, yeah, they either get along famously or they blow up, and more <laughs> more often than not, they, it's a total meltdown. And I, guess I we're not cut out. No, I was like, we didn't blow I told up. my husband, I'm like, I don't know what the problem is. We we got this. It was. It was a lot of fun. It like was. I, I felt like we really didn't step on each other's toes no. at all, which they do all the time. And it was just more like yeah. I don't know. We went into it as doing something as friends yeah. together, and it just was a lot of fun. It was. It so. was a lot of fun. So we we do have plans to do it again. So yeah. stay tuned. There is something else coming out. Yes. In the spring or early early of the year. Yeah. Actually, it'll probably be a little like. In the middle of winter, when you need Perfect. something, yeah, so, so that you can get ready for spring. So we're excited so. about that. I feel like once we get this one, you know, the the cow done and everything, then I'm just going to be fully brain focused yeah. on that. But then again, I think we're going to need another one. I think we're just yeah, so, we can, but anyway. yeah, we got to get through, <laughs> we'll get through one and then we can look at the next two, right? Oh yeah. my! But you know, one of the funny things we have to share. I don't know when we want to share this, but. The photo shoot. Um, oh, you've probably seen some of the photo shoot photos, of course. Um, and I'll put those, a lot of them, including like some outtakes and stuff like that, at the beginning and end of this video. Which would be fun. Yeah, the outtakes yeah. would be really fun. Yeah. It'd be hysterical if there was an actual video of us doing it. But <laughs> it was 90 degrees that day, and then with a the heat index, it was so knows? hot. The humidity was, was yeah. The heat index, I think it was 102 or something. It was, it was really crazy. hot. And we're, I had loaded all the stuff, all the props that we needed for the photo shoot into the, our little red wagon that I pulled the kids and the boys in. And we went trotting down our back path and just just doing that. And it was in shade that we trotted down. <laughs> but just doing that, it I was, was sweaty. So and then we had to put on these thick wool coats and yeah. these, this cowl and the hat. And wow. And what was funny was when we took it all off, I felt like 20 degrees yeah, cooler. Yeah, it was crazy yeah. hot. <laughs> and but you can't tell in the pictures which is no great. you can't and you also can't tell in the pictures that right next to us was <laughs> the parking lot for a um, one of our news stations here and I just kept waiting for them to come oh, out no. and say can we interview you about what you're doing what out are you here because it looks insane 
Um, it was it was very funny. But I but. will say, tell them them they do insane things in their parking lot. Oh, I'm sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and and they once they were trying to do a commercial, um, but they needed it to be stormy and rainy, so they had like hoses out oh. and a, a um a lady with an umbrella trying to do a, a inter, you know live shot. Oh, it's so thing. funny. Yeah, it's like. People, it's sunny and you're trying to make it rain. Anyways, it was really That's funny. funny. <laughs> but anyway, we, yes. we got through it and um, then we came back and had a nice cool drink. And served by uh, by John. Yeah, he went to Rose serve us. Boy, it was so cute. He came up and asked if he could get us anything to drink yeah. and took care of us. So it was really cute. It was very sweet. So. Uh, anyways, it was a lot of fun, but you can't tell the pictures came out beautifully. Yeah, they did. And Patrick did a really, really well. good job. Yeah. So it was Thank fun. You. Thank you, Patrick. <laughs> so yeah, so here they are, yeah. the Sabrina and the beret and the Sabrina cow. And I'll go ahead and put my cow on. Here we go. Actually, let me hold it up for you guys first, because sometimes I think it has this really nice. Um, whoops. Get it. Get it centered here. There we go. Um, it's still not centered. Boy, you guys, I'm really with it. There we go. Um, it has a um, cable, uh, like a faux smocking pattern in the center, and it's uh, offset by um, two classic cables. And the nice thing is the classic cable really coordinates with Gina's beret, which has um, the classic cable in it as well. She also has a beautiful wheat air cable, which you'll probably tell us yeah. more about. Then on the sides, this, the, uh, the back of it is just all seed stitch so it's kind of fun you go around and you do your seed stitch and then you have come to the cable panel but you don't cable every round you only cable um, every so often and um, so it just it makes it yeah fun it was and a relaxing. very fun knit and yeah. it went really pretty fast mm -hmm. um, it uses two skeins of the Inzula for better or worsted so you need two skeins for the Sabrina cow which Christina designed and then you need one skein for the Sabrina Beret, which I designed. And you can get our patterns are both up in Ravelry under our um, Ravelry name. So a Knitter's Life for Christina and Brownie Knits for myself. And um, if you use the code Sabrina K-A-L, so S-A-B-R-I-N-A-K-A-L, in either store, you'll get 25% off of the Sabrina Beret and the Sabrina Cow. So... It's a good yeah. deal. It's yeah. fun. And it makes a really nice Christmas gift, I, I think. Absolutely. Knitting either the set or one of the pieces. Um, I really like this, this yarn. And many thanks it to Anzula so for sending it out to us yes. and sending you guys some for the giveaway. Yes. Thank you, Charlie. We really appreciate that. It's, it's um, a, if ever, anybody of you have ever worked with For Better or Worse, it's just a really soft, it winchy is. yarn. Perfect for cables. Yes. It really shows the stitch definition. And it has cashmere in it. So mm -hmm. it's like super nice, soft to the neck. Yes. Perfect. And any, um, all of their colors, the nice thing about Inzula, all of their colors are available in any of their yarn bases. Yes. So um, really nice. I did a version of the Sabrina Beret in one of their other yarn bases um, that, Ooh, that is not really pretty. showing cherry it, red on the screen. It's it not as hot red. Um, but this is Red Shoe. And... So you could get that in the for better or worse colorway too. It's really um, pretty. Christina has on the O natural in the white, um, yeah. and that's what the, this cowl is as well. And then the Nimbus is the blue that's in my hat and the cowl that Christina has on. And the Nimbus is, is a very pretty colorway yes. too. It's like a um, icy winter blue. Yes. It's very pretty. I think it's nice because it would carry you through fall. I mean, you yeah. could pair this with browns. Absolutely. And winter and spring as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. But then again, you could do that with the natural too. Yeah. And then the cherry red for Christmas time. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I had to make my red and I'm gonna, as part of our knit along that goes from October 1st through November 30th. So plenty of time. Yeah, I'm gonna make the Sabrina cow to coordinate with my hat out of the red to wear to my IU basketball oh, games. So. Oh, good job. Yeah, because basketball season yeah. starts in October. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I'm not very good with sports, so it's that's the only. And even then, like only college basketball, I don't like get into NBA or anything like that. Okay, just no other sport. Basketball. Like okay. I just, yeah. That's, all that's I get okay. Into. It's good to have a sport. It's a good. It it's is. Good. It is. It's fun. And it's good to support the colleges. So yeah. 
That's fun. So for the inspiration, um, we came. We had a, a, a secret board on Pinterest, which was a fun way to start. Just get, gathering ideas. Um, I feel like it kind of grew out of. We pinned a lot of things that were like, well, had a lot of cables, mm -hmm. and then we pinned a lot of things that were kind of in these. Um, white and blue colorways yeah. for winter yeah. um, but then we also or at least I know I did <laughs> I pinned a lot of like kind of 20s kind of yeah. styles yeah. and things like that and um, when I was looking at the beret styles there were so many slouchy berets yeah. out there and I really wanted to do one that was a true beret like really inspired by a military beret where it really sits up yeah. more I have to admit, I was also watching a lot of Outlander at the time, and there are a lot of berets that are, you know, this smaller, non-slouchy shape in there that the guys have on. You know, my uncle, this is just a side note, my uncle always wore a red beret. Like, oh, he did? Always. Aww. Always. Always. Because he, he was bald, and so he always wore a red beret, and that was kind of his signature. And his grandfather always wore a navy blue beret, oh, good. and that was his signature. So it's That's like, cool. I know, it's like the men in our family have the signature of yeah. wearing berets. It's very, it's very cool. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> anyway. Well, and so that's why it's not a slouchy mm -hmm. beret. So, and it doesn't, you know, it, it'll cover one ear if you used to have it set offset yeah. like that. And, I mean, I could pull on it and make it cover both, but then... You would lose some of this and it would just be more of a fitted hat um and i also wanted it to be very feminine and delicate so that's why the you might hate me after you start doing it but that's why you cable so often so you don't have a huge amount of rows in between because i wanted cute tight little delicate um, cables. I feel like when you have more space in between, kind of like on my Raleigh Bren hat pattern, if you look at that one, that one was designed for men mm -hmm. in mind. Mm -hmm. Women could wear it too. We're oh, lucky, yes. we can do whatever. Oh, yes. But um, I, I wanted to myself. I wanted big, chunky, mm -hmm. you know, like manly cables yeah. for that one. But I wanted really feminine ones for, for this hat. And I really wanted to start the cables at the where you cast on. So you cast on here and then work up to the center. And so I thought a lot about that. And um, you, your smaller cables kind of start down here. And then you have some ribbing in between that then go into your wheat ear cable. And then it goes into, dissolves in the center top. Here, I'll show on this one. So it dissolves down. So all of your cables melt away into this pearl section. Which is so nice. It's so nicely done. The, the decreases just look so good. Yeah. So Thank well thought you. out. So And they're really well described in the pattern too, which... Um, oh, that's a good point. They really are. And they also charted out. Yeah, that's what I was going to so. say. That was not... I wasn't <laughs> trying to give myself kudos. I, no, meant no. The, I wanted to make sure that we said both of the mm -hmm. patterns are available in 100% written if you prefer to just work from the written instructions and 100% charted if you prefer to work from the charted. So we did both of those things um, in both patterns. Yeah. So so it, it makes it hopefully easy, easy yeah. for you guys. <laughs> um, I did want to say too on the hat, so um, it looks nice and circular like a big circle here. But while you're working on it, it actually is tiny. It's so super it tiny. tiny. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna fit a newborn and it looks really pointy in the top center when you're done with all the pearls are kind of right there. But what you do then, um, you take a plate and I used a 10 inch. Um, so I think, I think, I looked it up online. I think the European equivalent would be like a 25 centimeter plate. Um, and so you wet block it. So you're gonna wash it in the sink with some eucalyn, <laughs> would be great. Um, and then pull it around the plate and just have the rib side here um, and push the rib side together so that you don't stretch out the um, brim part. And you can either leave it to dry on the plate um, or you can just you know get it that shape and then take it off and lay it flat as a circle. Um, and I promise it will stretch out. It will have this little shape. I know it will look like it can fit. No kidding. It really does look it like does. it can fit a newborn yeah. when you're working on it. <laughs> um, and I also wanted to point out because depending on the yarn that you use, you might notice it a little bit more or a little bit less. But um, 
no matter how great of an editor you are, when you work a cable, the first pearl that you have after a cable will always be a little bit loose because there's more yarn there um, and it doesn't, it, you have more yarn than you need for your space. And even if you do little tricks that you can find online, you're still gonna have that. So in this hat, I took that into consideration. So you do have these little like pulls and I'm not sure if it's gonna show up very well on that one. Does it it's kind up? of interesting because the different yarns show, show it, it differently. More. Yeah, so there you go, let's look there. So there you can kind of see like right where my fingers are. So when you have that on, it really just melts away. Mm -hmm. if so that. if that happens when you are knitting or when you're blocking it, don't freak out, it's actually part of it. It's the pearl mesh that just kind of happens right there and it'll pull and that's fine. Yeah. You want that to happen, so yeah. don't freak out. Nope, um, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else do I want to, I think that's kind of up. Oh yeah, one other thing about the beret, because I wanted to make sure we gave you guys tips and tricks. The wheat ear cable has a little stitch um, that makes it the wheat ear. So you do a little cable, it's not really showing, because the, there we go. You have a cable that you do here, then you have one knit stitch, and then you have a cable. So it's very easy to, to miss that little yeah. knit stitch in the center of the wee ear cable. So you just have to be careful about that. You can even put a stitch marker yeah. that can travel up in, in the center if, yeah. if you like stitch markers on your project. So yeah. yeah. No, it was a lot of fun. It, it was. was a lot of fun. It was also so exciting to see once you got it blocked out on the plate that, wow, it's like magic. It really did work. It really did yeah. work. But I think, yeah. <laughs> now, so I don't tell you, out. Yes. while designing it, I was like, is this really going to work? <laughs> but it did. And I yeah. I um, wanted to make sure that you could get it out of one skein because um, we didn't want to exceed three skeins for the entire project. Um, so you can get it out of one. If you make any alterations to it, if you have a tighter gauge or if you add rows or anything, you will need more than one skein. So, yeah. Which and these skeins are 200 yards. 200 yards, yeah. Do you want to talk about your ribbon? I was going to say one more thing you might want to mention is that oh, it would be yeah. good without, with acrylic yarn. You yes, wouldn't. do not. I really highly, highly recommend that you don't use acrylic um, or a synthetic blend for this hat. I would use a wool. You can use a superwash wool. Mm -hmm. This one's, is this superwash? Yeah, this is superwash. Even an um, alpaca would work. Even alpaca. Mm -hmm. Any, you just have to be able to block it out. And right. if you're using an acrylic, you know, you're not going to be able to block it out. So, no. yeah, I would absolutely not recommend an acrylic or a synthetic blend. So, it just yeah. Wouldn't, it wouldn't block out. So, you'd yeah. still have the little tight yet. Yeah. Yes. It would fit the newborn. It would fit the and newborn. Pointy little part in the middle. <laughs> Do you want to talk about your yeah, rib okay. on options on yes. yours? So, the fun thing about this is you can customize the rib to, depending on whether you are have a short neck or a, a taller neck. I did, um, uh, in the pattern, I kind of have the option. Um, you can do, you start at the bottom here and you cast on this ribbing, then you work the main body of the cowl, then you finish with the top ribbing. And you can shorten that top ribbing um, or you can make it the full, uh, same size as the bottom ribbing, just so that if you have a shorter neck, um, it, it doesn't overwhelm you. So that's yeah, what Gina so did. I have this the shorter here. Mm -hmm. It's about half the size exactly, yeah. I think. Yeah. yeah. And it w looks really, it doesn't, it doesn't look, oh my goodness, she forgot to knit. Right. It looks really well. It yeah. Lo it looks really good. And it really helps um, just if you're not a tall person. Yeah. Um, not to have all that extra material. Another person asked me, can you decrease this um, to make it a little narrower at the neck? so that it, it hugs you um, more at the neck. And you can. There is a center back, which is where you begin and um, begin and end your rounds, and you could do you know, a SSK and, and knit two together um, on either side of that stitch marker, just to mm -hmm. kind of tailor it up. So um, you can do that. You can, you can customize it. So um, I, I did mine because I wanted, I wanted to be able to really bring it up um, around my neck when I have a coat on, mm -hmm. uh, but also 
if it's not that cold, just to flop it down. I wanted a, a cowl that would sit right in that open part of your coat. Right. Because yeah. that, to me, is always the coldest place. And sometimes I've got too much scarf and you have to tuck it down in your coat. Then you can't button your coat. And um, so I wanted something that just sits right there to keep you nice and warm. Um, but yet also has some detail to it. So when I was looking at um, my design, I did look at some of the 1920 pieces, and you know they all wear these foxes, yeah, yeah. and they they have the fox head here, and they're, so it's it's um, a piece that you're drawn to, your eye is drawn to this piece right here, and then the tail swoops around. And I thought, oh, it'd be so nice to have a cowl that has a detail right here in the front that draws your eye up to your face and um, really fills in that open opening of your coat but doesn't continue the same motif all the way around. Yeah. So um, I think it, lovely. yeah, th so that's why I put the, the panel right here in the front offset by the two cables to match the hat and then you just have the seed stitch around which allows your eye to rest when it's looking at the piece. It doesn't, doesn't get overwhelmed by detail and your eye is drawn more towards the detail right in the front. Um, the thing so, I love about it too is that you, although it's great for the coat just for that reason if it's a little bit cooler and you're but you don't want a coat it's perfect like yeah. you, I couldn't see people just tossing it on to go out to the pumpkin patch yeah. and it would just keep you the right amount of toasty, toasty. so you really can wear it from fall into spring it, I just think it's beautiful it's nice. yeah well thank you yeah. thank you very much and so we were playing around with it during I think it was during prototype days <laughs> um yeah Christina had it like turned I did yeah like this, and even though that's the technically the wrong, wrong side, side, I just thought it was beautiful too. So you get kind of two looks in one, so you've got like this great look there too. And I know I watched a couple podcast episodes this week from different podcasters, and they were talking about like they didn't want to have something up close to them. And I think this is a great cowl for those people because you can have like this openness and not feel like something's coming up at you. Yeah. But if you're like cold and you want to get cozy, you can pull it right up. Back up and yeah. get all nice and cozy. Or, um, and you can also just fold it over so that it really keeps yeah. you nice and warm inside of your coat. So um, anyways, so it's a fun design. Now for the, the tip that I have for this um, working the smocking is to use a um, a cable needle. Uh, see, there you go. Can you see it? A cable needle that's a short stick. Um, because what you're going to do when you do the smocking, you're going to take, um, I think it's four or five stitches on the cable needle, and then you're going to wrap your yarn around it, and then knit those stitches after they're wrapped. So you really want a cable needle that is small that doesn't have a hook because you don't want to get yeah. stuck on the hook. Um, and you just, um, you want it to be easy and fast. <laughs> At least I did. So I like these little sticks. They are from Knitter's Pride. I'll show you. And they're the, the wooden cable needles from Knitter's Pride. Um, so we do have two to give away to you. Um, so whoever wins that in the knit along will have those. Um, and that's what I would highly recommend because when you're wrapping, you just don't mm -hmm. want to, anything that just slow you down. So it's kind of fun to actually wrap them and see how it yeah, brings everything it together. It's not hard or complicated. You're not doing traveling stitches or anything. It's just, you're almost doing And rib. that's, I loved that about it because although I love the look of traveling stitches, yeah. Sometimes they can be a little annoying while you're making them <laughs> and this does not travel, yeah. but it has that look. lovely look. Yeah. So I thought it was really genius. I liked it. And I really like how it looks on the other side. Yeah, too. it's beautiful. And you can see it just it just has this really nice texture. There's the cuckoo again. <laughs> I forgot to friend. turn the cuckoo off. I hope it doesn't it's annoy so cute. you. It's such a cute little clock. <laughs> it's a nice clock. It I is. Know. We love the sound. I love the sound when um, just here at home because it, it's. I don't wear a watch. My watch is my phone, uh -huh. and I can tell the time of yeah. day just by listening. Yeah, that's nice. So it's nice. My mother-in-law has a it's not a cuckoo clock because there's not a bird, but she has one that you can put different um, discs in of oh, music. Hi, nice. But she always has the same one, oh, in. Nice. so it's 
Christmas music oh, year, no. round, <laughs> year round. You get to hear oh, the Christmas no. music. Yeah. But it's like, you know, it's like, that's what I expect when yes. you go to her house yes. now. So it feels true. like Patrick's home. So. She, she might, if she changes it on you, you might not know. I know. <laughs> be like, Who's where am I? <laughs> Yeah. So, so let's let's talk about the knit along yes. kind of guidelines and fun giveaways and stuff. So like I said, it runs from ten one to eleven thirty. Um, both the a Knitter's Life and Brownie Knits Ravelry boards will have a no, a no chatter thread um, to show your finished objects that we'll select the giveaway winners from, and then we'll have a chatter thread um, where you can just talk and ask questions and get to know each other and stuff. And show so, off your progress. Yeah. And... So join both yeah. boards. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will both have on our upcoming podcast episodes, we won't always be able to get together, sadly. I know. But we'll, on both of our channels, on the Brownie Knits YouTube channel and the A Knitter's Life YouTube channel, we will have um, tips and tricks as we go along, just answering questions mm -hmm. and different things. And we're both building giveaway packages. So we have a few things to show you today that will be in the giveaway packages, but then, you know, we might add a little Some more fun. here and there as we go between Some now fun. and November. <laughs> and if any of you who are makers um, have things that you want to give away, contact us and um, we'd be more than happy to yeah. see if they coordinate with us. Absolutely. I did along, so it'd be yeah. fun. Yeah. Um, and there are so many ways that you can register for the giveaways. So. If you are, it doesn't matter what you're making. So if you're only making the cowl, mm -hmm. you can still register for giveaways on my board and Christina's yes. and vice versa. If you're just making the beret, you can register on my board and Christine's both. Yes. And there are so many ways to register. I'm not even sure I remember them all, but you There's can like post. There's different ways. Yeah. Like, so. so let's see. For your works in progress, you can post on both boards um, a picture of your work in progress with a cup of tea or coffee, Sorry. and if you don't drink tea or coffee, whatever you whatever. drink is fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, a picture of your work in progress with a friend, because yeah, we're doing this because friend. we're friends, and then a picture of your work in progress with your knitting circle. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, I think it's there too. Like we'd love to see a group of knitters, um, but you know, sometimes my knitting circle is with me and my doggy, yeah. so, <laughs> and maybe a podcast episode on. That's so right. I think we're pretty forgiving there. Yeah. Um, but but then, it would be fun to see that. Yeah. It would be fun to see which podcast you have on and absolutely um, your doggy or your cat. Yeah. And, um, so. and so you can do those three ways on Christine's board and those three ways on my board. So that's six. But then you can also do a picture of your finished object with tea or coffee or drink, mm -hmm. a finished object with your friend and then a finished object with your knitting circle. So there's three more ways on Christina's and three more ways on mine. So that you get 12, 12 ways, ways that you yeah. can register. That's amazing. So yeah, it's, it so, will be, there'll be, uh, there'll be lots of ways to win. Yes, so. absolutely. And what will you win? Uh, yes. Right? What word are you going to win? Well, I mentioned the um, cable needles and there are two here and they're from a knitter's pride. So we, that will be in, that was one of them. And then there's also two things of Euclid. Um, this is one of my favorite wool washes. Mm -hmm. I love Euclid. Because I, it has it has the lanolin in it, mm -hmm. which it really pr puts the lanolin back, the oils back into the wool and helps protect it. Um, and just make yeah. it soft. If you have somebody in your life who you knit for and they're like, ooh, it's scratchy. Yeah, washing them in eucalyn and it does amazing things to the wool. Like it really does make a difference. And Christina can attest, I am the ultimate no scratch yes. wool person. <laughs> so um, yeah, it really works. Now it won't so, turn rug yarn into soft no, merino, but it'll but really like. I mean, it even softens soft merino. It does. Up, so, yeah, yeah. It just really is nice. It's a really good. It's a really good wool wash. I love it too because you don't rinse it. Yes, it's yeah. wonderful. Throw it in Just the throw sink it in the sink, and then you yeah. pat it out, and you don't rinse it. So yeah. So we have those things. So we'll have a cable in Christina's giveaway, and a cable needle in my giveaway, and then Euclid in each. And then um, Charlie and Anzula were so nice. They um, offered yarn support for us for the designs. 
But they also gave us, and I just undid it. And that's okay, you can show how beautiful and fluffy yeah, it is. Yeah, they also gave us some yarn for giveaways. So for the Brownie Knit giveaway package, you'll get a skein of the Inzula for Better Worsted in the Nimbus colorway. So you can make another beret or another hat or, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you want. And then um, in the Inner Life, you can get two skeins of in the um, Au Natural colorway and to make the cowl or something else you want. Yeah, to so absolutely. It's, it's a lot of fun. And then you also, like I said, we're slowly building other things for the giveaway packages. But um, I made up one of my little drawstring bags. I still need to put the drawstrings in it, so I can't show you that. But I went along with the Sabrina theme. Mm -hmm. We chose the name Sabrina because we both really liked the movie Sabrina. Yeah. And we thought they kind of look like something she might wear. So it's not related to the movie yeah. at all, really. But we just thought it's something that Sabrina might have worn. So that's kind of how we came up with that. And it looked, I don't know. And it's also <laughs> such a great movie to watch. It with is. Friends. It's great. I first saw it with friends. So yeah. It was, I love the movie. Yep. That's a good one. And um, so, sorry. Kept yeah, playing cute. on the little so Parisian cute. theme. Um, and then it has the center panel here with the black medallions, black and white. It's also your lining. So these little Show bags. Show the other side too because it has the cute oh yeah, it has houses. The little houses on it. Isn't it cute? That's cute? And these size bags are made for like a pair of socks or a hat they or a cowl. Um, even a small like little shawlette yep. would fit in there. Little baby projects, things yep. like that. So yeah. It's really cute. I like it too. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> They're fun to do. They are, yeah. I love the Parisian fabric. It looks yeah. good. Yeah, I thought it would go oh, wow. well. So there's lots of fun things for yeah. them to have and Absolutely. win. It'll be fun to have them knit along. So I yes. can't wait to see your project. You'll join us. And the yarn that you choose. So, yeah. yeah. And don't forget to use the coupon code. Yep. Sabrina K-A-L to get 25% off of the Sabrina Beret in the Brownie Knits shop and 25% off of the Sabrina Cal in the Emitter's Life shop. And also use Sabrina K-A-L on Instagram and when you tag your projects in Ravelry so that we can all see, see everybody's yeah. progress and see what everybody is making. It's so. fun. It'll be a good way to keep track of it. Yeah, absolutely. So, so I think that's Anything it. else? I feel like I... I feel like I was like, okay, gotta go through the gotta checklist. Through the, I know, so. but I think we got it all. I think we shared everything. Yeah. And now I can't wait to see the questions and comments that you guys have and what yarn you guys are going to choose for your projects. So yes, it's I'm excited. Fun. It's very exciting. So, so I guess we'll see you guys on over in the groups. Yeah. So now go off and enjoy at the end of this video all of our little funny video yes, uh, photos our, for, from our, yes. our photo shoot and just know that we were sweating underneath oh, all of those yes. clothes but um yeah it was fun it was so fun it was it was a good it's little a good time job. we will definitely never forget it no so. we definitely won't <laughs> all right so happy knitting happy knitting bye bye